Dallas Pratt, who founded the American Museum over 50 years ago with John Judkin, his partner, he was a medical man, but he was always very troubled by vivisection. Towards the end of his life, he donated 180 prints to the museum, and he hoped that by displaying these prints, which illustrated the sympathetic relationship between the human and non-human animal, that the visitors would gain a greater respect for the natural world and therefore develop a more compassionate eye, and hence the name uh, of the exhibition. The print collection actually features some of the great American artists of the 19th and 20th century. We have, for instance, James McNeil Whistler represented, Frank Church, the regionalists, the greatest of whom was Frank Benton. Also in the show, we have uh, one of the beautiful prints by Grant Wood. Now, these days, Grant Wood is primarily remembered for one particular painting, which is American Gothic. American Gothic is often acclaimed as the greatest artwork that was ever made to represent America. But the print that we have in the show by Grant Wood is very typical of his print style, which is very eerie and otherworldly. We have the silhouettes of horses in a snowscape with their manes being whipped by the wind, and they are just encaged by lines of barbed wire in the snow. What is particularly interesting about the themes that have come together in the show is that there's a great nostalgic feel for the American heartland. Um, there are many scenes of small farmsteads, for instance, uh, in the gloom of either the early evening or the sun coming up in the morning. And many of the farming people represented are obviously incredibly poor. Uh, these are people who are literally eking out a living on a very unproductive landscape. And of course, these prints were made during the Great Dust Bowl years, uh, the Great Depression years, and you have all of that human tragedy as well as the animal tragedy behind it. Those images really do sear onto the imagination. We have many uh, prints that have uh, caused great delight for our very much younger visitors and to assist with that we have hung many of the artworks uh, much lower than we would normally and this is because they are so detailed we want to make sure that younger viewers get an opportunity to really pour over the illustrations. Uh, one thing that has proved enormously popular is that we have magnifying glasses uh, throughout the gallery as well and it's, it's delightful actually to see the kids racing backwards and forwards uh, describing what they have found. My favourite picture in the show is, is definitely the Nesbit, the um, November evening, which was used as the poster image for the show. I just find it so evocative of a life that is very seldom lived now, and you just have this, this timeless image of a man on a horse in a battered, rimmed hat going off into the sunset, followed by his arthritic but very devoted dog. I think that's rather lovely.